What is going on YouTube? This is Jim back with another really quick video and today I want to talk to you guys about Pokemon. Um, I don't talk about Pokemon very often because it's something that doesn't necessarily appeal to me. I mean I have played the games in the past. I played a lot of uh, Pokemon X on my Nintendo 3DS but I don't really play it a lot. It's kind of a grindy game and there are other games that I like to spend more time with. That said, I'm always interested in what the Pokemon company is doing because they're always coming up with new ideas. And just last year they announced Pokemon Go, which did start off with somewhat of a rocky start, but ultimately has become a pretty interesting and in-depth service that allows you to play Pokemon on your cell phone, which I gotta say, for Pokemon, really forward thinking in the fact that, not that they divorced themselves from Nintendo by any stretch of the imagination, but that they've expanded to people now who have cell phones. And I know that that's a very big market. I mean, who doesn't have a cell phone, right, Blizzard? Anyways, um, it's interesting that tonight during the uh, press conference, I say tonight, at least here in good old Orlando, Florida, it was night, but I know they, uh, over there, on the other side of the world, it's early morning for them. But uh, on this press conference, they talked a lot about a new um, direction that they want to try to shift some of the company to, and they called it Pokemon Sleep, which I thought was extremely interesting. Uh, so Pokemon Sleep is going to be very similar to what Pokemon Go was, and it's promoting a healthy lifestyle. So. Pokemon Go, you get points for walking around. There's Pokemon that are scattered all around the you know immediate area that they want you to walk to, walk up and down the street, interact with other people, collect Pokemon that are scattered throughout your community. Well, Pokemon Sleep is almost that, except they want you to install or buy this device, I guess, this little uh, accelerometer, which you put on your bed, which tracks your sleep style and your habits. And it's going to revolutionize that via some new cloud-based service where the more you sleep, the more incentives you get to play the game. Now, as somebody such as myself who is sleep-deprived, I only sleep anywhere from four to five hours a night. So this probably isn't going to work for me. My wife, on the other hand, who's already in bed, she may like this game a little bit more than me. But I, I got to say, regardless if it turns out to be cool or not, and I have no idea because... All they did right now is just tease the idea. It's interesting, and I've never seen a game that incentivizes players to sleep. Typically, we think of the gaming lifestyle as one where we got big old fat bellies and Cheeto fingers and Mountain Dew breath, and we like our chicken wings, and we're just fat, lazy gamers. But I, I got to give a lot of credit to the Pokemon company for trying to incentivize Pokemon Go, which is a mobile-based game where you are meant to be literally mobile and walk around and collect uh, Pokemon that way. But now they've taken it a step further with Pokemon Sleep, where they're going to incentivize you for having good sleeping habits. So I don't know if it's gonna be a great game or not, but you know what? A lot of people like Pokemon and clearly they're diversifying in many different directions. So if you like your traditional you know, console game or your Switch game or your mobile game where you walk or your mobile game where you sleep, there's kind of a Pokemon game for everyone and I have to give them credit for that. So there you guys have it. I mean, we'll see how this turns out. I will say as somebody who recently has taken health significantly more seriously, um, sticking to a really strict diet, losing almost 50 pounds at this point, I can tell you guys that health means a lot more to me than it used to. That doesn't mean I'm going to sleep better so my Pikachu can be level two or anything like that, but it's something that's more on my mind than it used to be, and I can definitely see a market for this, and clearly they can too if they're going to invest their hard-earned time and money on developing such a game. So with that, hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.